So guys, welcome back to today's video and today I'm doing a review of the new Yeezy 350 V2 Ashstone colorway. So initially, uh, looking at the shoe, you can see it's got a nice grey bottom, like a dark grey black sole, which not many other Yeezys have like this sort of sole. When you flip it like that, it looks brown to be honest on the camera, but it actually is a light grey in real life. It's just because the white boost is behind it. On There's two main colours to the shoe, excluding the stripe. So on one side of the shoe, on the inside of the shoe, it's a chocolatey brown colour, yeah? So chocolatey brown colour. And then on the outside of the shoe, it's like a dark brown but mixed with like a blue hint. And I'll flip it this way. It's got chocolate laces. Obviously, that's the inside colour of the shoe where it's like a chocolatey brown with the red right in. And then if I f put this to the camera here, you can see where this side is more like the chocolatey brown. This side is like a bluey dark brown colour. Now I'll flip it now so you can see the stripe. And I've seen some other people say the stripe is like a, a pink, pinky orange colour. But in my personal opinion, I'd say it's a it's a light red, maybe salmon-y colour. But it for me, I think it matches well with the shoe. Whereas some people say it's what puts them off about the shoe. But personally, red is my favourite colour anyway, so... I really like it, and I'm gonna. I will do a on foot review in a minute, but I'm, I'm just gonna show these com in comparison to my uh, sesame ones. So you see, like it's a bit darker than the sesame is, and these are like a grey colour. Both really nice shoes. These are my most warm Yeezys, as you can tell by the bottom. They're pretty dirty, but I've worn them hundreds of times probably, and they're still in pretty good condition I'd say. So with these Yeezys, as you can tell while looking at them to start with, it's got it's got a faded out look to it, this shoe. The, this like, faded design was first done with the Yeezy fades, which I'll put them on screen with. And it's basically just, it's almost as like a coating to the shoe that makes it look faded out. It does give a really nice aesthetic look to the shoe. So some of us might hate the look of the shoe but to me I personally really like it. And then yeah, so there's not really much to say about it. It's got the usual standard boost at, at the bottom. Yeah, I haven't actually yet taken the tags off so I'll do that now. Also as of now, Yeezys come with the stringy, stringy light bit to keep the tags on instead of before it was plastic so this is another way Adidas have tried to reduce their plastic use which is obviously a good thing. So look out if you're buying a pair of these ash stones that uh, they don't have plastic on because the plastic ones will be fakes. So another part I forgot to say about the shoe is the actual feel of the shoe. Say if you if you just rub it it's got a bit of a, like a rough feeling because of the, the coating this like the white faded look gives to the shoe it's got a bit of a rough feeling but say if you put like crepe protect on there i feel like this type of shoe with the faded look would be a lot uh, weather resistant if i if that makes sense so it'll be like say if it rains and the water would more likely run off the shoe instead of seep through the shoe if that makes sense so now i will uh, i'll put them on feet to show you that's it for today's video so i hope you enjoyed i have more shoe releases in the future to have a look at so thanks for watching and like and subscribe i hope you enjoyed the video